Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo. Welcome back today to an unboxing kind of video. We've done plenty of these over the past couple of days. I hope you have enjoyed it. I am back today with one of my personal favorites and that is a Lutaku crate. Now these are absolutely huge. It is unopened. Pretty confident that this is August's mumps, which theme was loot. But we're gonna find out either way. Today we're gonna do something a little different. I normally open it with just a normal knife. We're gonna be unboxing it with one of my CSGO knives. This is a Huntsman Fade knife. Something a little different for you guys to enjoy. So let's see what we do find inside this box. Again, everything that we do show has been unopened because it's a surprise for you, but it's also a surprise for me. So we're gonna have to break our way through here. There's three different sections that you have to pop open for this box. Um, and it does say on top that it's fragile, so I have to be have to be really careful with this one. Last but not least, we've got to pop the knife in here. It's probably not the best knife to do this with, but either way, we're doing it. All right, we're in. Kind of. We're in. No, not yet. Come on, Echo. You got this. It's a really big knife, as you guys can see. Uh, uh, all right, we're in. We're in, we're in, we're in. We should be able to do this now. Okay, so before I break my desk with my knife... Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek now. Let me know in the comment section what did stand out to you first I'm gonna move my knife out the way before I end up uh, Killing myself with it. Let's just move that to the floor and Tell me what you guys do see in the comment section first because I'm I'm always curious as to what stands out for you And you know what with this box? I haven't even I haven't even done this properly have I no I haven't even done this properly Let me just get the knife again and let me pop these two sides as well all right, so now I've popped all the sides. Again, leave a comment on what you do see first. So you guys are gonna have the sneak peek first. Let's open this box. Hopefully it doesn't break. Let's uh, see what's going down in this box, shall we? So let me know down below, guys, what did stand out to you. Three, two, one. Okay, then maybe you guys didn't see it fully, but there's one, two, three, or four things that you guys did see first. Now. Let's have a little bit of luck inside of here. Now I have noticed a pop vinyl figure. I'm absolutely loving these. Been collecting quite a bunch recently. So I think we're gonna start off with that in today's video. So this is a Naruto Shippudu, at Suzuki. Again, not entirely sure what this is. Is I'm guessing it's related to anime. I'm not the biggest anime fan. I do apologize if you guys fully enjoy anime. Everybody has their own preferences, but we've got this. I, this might not be this might not be um, August theme. It might be a different theme, but we're gonna check it out anyway. But yeah, thank you. Really enjoying these. Gonna collect as many as I can. And if you guys do have your own collection, be sure to tweet me some pictures. I'd love to see it. The next thing I've noticed here is we do have Jeans Freak. We have Jeans Freak here. It says, keep on your jean spirits. As you guys can see that. So let's open this, because I'm kind of curious as to what's inside. Now this is more seller tape. It's driving me crazy in opening this. Because I can never get into them because I don't... Okay, here we go. Alright, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I did it. Okay. You know what? Let's just do this a different way, shall we? Let's just do this how we probably should do it. Okay. So, we've got a little bit of a figurine here. We've had quite a, quite a few of these recently. And these are just like building your own statue type from what I've noticed. Um, oh, this dive like he's, he doesn't have a head on. Look at that head. That is a creepy dude right there. That is very, very creepy. And yeah, he's got no head on right now. So let's just take this off. Let's get the stand out itself. And let's have a little bit of a look at this. You know what? I don't think there's anything else inside of there that I needed. So we're just gonna rip our way into it and see what we can find. Okay, so first thing is first. Without his head, we're putting him on the little statue thing here. And it doesn't even fit. Does he fit? I have to stretch his legs over a little bit. Okay. Ugh. He doesn't go in. Okay, it goes in this way, that's why. Ugh, stretch you over. Okay, he's in and his head is on. Okay, now he looks like... I like it. I actually really, really like this, to be honest with you. Apart from the creepy face. That is a, that is really one creepy face right there. But anyway, thank you very much, Lutaku, for sending me that. The next thing we got here, is this Goku? I think it is. I think this is one of the only one thing that I, I know, all right? This is quite heavy. Now, but lots of things. This is like a Goku figurine. It's quite a heavy thing. And it did say, like I said, on the top of the box, it is fragile. So maybe this is the fragile thing because looking in the rest of it, I don't really see anything fragile. Now, before I do open this, Lutaku August 2016 Lutaku Ultimate Crossover 
Lutaku one year anniversary. Ah, okay then. Kind of makes sense. So it was August. Let's, uh... Is there more sellotape to this? There is. There's even more sellotape to this. I'm gonna just break the sides open a little bit here. Sellotape everywhere in this unboxing. Okay, right. So, oh, we gotta build another guy. We got another guy to build. Ooh, okay then. Like I said, this one's a lot heavier. You guys can see that. I think it is. So I haven't put this guy on the stand, but I am telling you now that his hair weighs a ton. It's really, 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 really heavy, but look how awesome that is. Like, that is pretty amazing. So it is like an action figure. It doesn't really move. It's more of like, it goes on the stand here. Um, and it's also got a support as well, of course, because his hair is so heavy to keep it up You're gonna be having to use this as well, but I'm really impressed with that. I really really like this now My desk is covered with all bits and bobs from unboxings and this is definitely gonna be added to it So thank you so much for that. I really like that addition. We've also got ourselves here by the looks of things It's 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 a blade like it's a, a samurai knife sword whatever you want to call it. So this might be the new unboxing tool um I'm gonna leave this in the package for now because we spent a lot of time. In fact, no, you know what? We're gonna open this, okay? We're gonna open this. So, I think again that this is another statue as well. Now, it is metal, so it, it's it's not sharp. It's been blunt or bluntened or whatever you want to call it. Um, but it is made out of metal and so is this as well. So obviously it goes inside of here and it goes on a stat. I'm guessing it goes on a stat. It's not, it's not really a statue. Oh, it is. It is a statue. Okay, then. Let's try and figure out how this works. There's so many things that we have to take out of boxes this time. I'm not used to doing this. We're so used to just unboxing things and them just being there straight away. But this, by the looks of things, is meant to be a... Yes, look. Another little stand part here. Let me just put this on a stand. I can show you guys exactly what it looks like then. So, I think so as you can see here, it's, it's just on a stand. Like, it's got an indent so it doesn't fall off. Another thing to go around my desk, there is so much of these, this is the third thing in a row, but I'm very impressed with that. Very, very, very nice addition. Of course, don't take these outside, because you're going to get arrested. But yeah, thank you very much for that as well. That can go in my, in my setup. We've also got, I'm not entirely sure what this is. I'm, I think it's a flag. I think it is a flag. It is a flag. Alright, so I'm going to put this outside my window, so people know that I'm a pirate. <laughs> thank you very much, got ourselves a flag. Now this, this is... It's, it's pretty awesome, like, there's so many additions that have been added in this, and I will be looking at the back of the box, or the back of the paper to see exactly what was, uh, what thing, because again, I'm not the biggest anime fan, and a lot of this is linked to, um, anime by the sound of things, because in this box now we've got a Dragon Ball Z thing, so, opening this, this is from Naruto, okay then, I think I remember this as a kid, I think it was on, like, TV, it's like a, I think it's a belt, I don't think it, or is it on your head, no, it's on your head, I think. I looked at the, is this the right way? I don't know if this is the right, I don't know if, which is the right way. Alright, but uh, I looked at things, I think it's meant to go like this. I think it's meant to go like this. Alright, well that's another secret little addition. And then last but not least in terms of things to take out of boxes, with more sellotape attached to it again. This is a Dragon Ball... It just says, it's, it's, I'm guessing it's like a little bit of a, a vinyl. Yeah, it's a vinyl. Okay, so we've got more vinyls as well. All right, let's uh, rip in the box. Don't really care, yeah. Put this one together again. We're not gonna put this one together, but nice addition. We've got ourselves a random damage legend of the Steven. Okay, oh, the seven, sorry. One group up. And uh, I looks things it's like, it's like a comic. All right, so we'll definitely have a little bit of a read of that and see what goes down in this. Yes, I feel like I'm a ninja today, uh, a samurai warrior. Thank you very much for that. And on the back, I can read and finally figure out what these are all about. That's it in this terms of this box. Um, Dragon Ball Z figure epic lineup. One Piece figure epic lineup. Dragon Ball World Collection. Naruto pop figure. We've got the One Piece flag straw hat pirates from... Now, okay, I don't know what that's from. We've got ourselves the One Piece sword with stand. Naruto forehead protector was for my forehead. And we've got the uh, book as well. So... Pretty impressed with this. Thank you very, very much, Lutaku, for sending me this out. I really appreciate it. I really do enjoy these. Favorite thing has to be this, of course, because I love the vinyls. But most importantly, I was really, really impressed with this. Like the uh, samurai stand with the samurai knife. Thank you very much for that. I do like that. If you guys want to grab your own, the links are down below. Take care. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time.